this is a lovely book to link in with our topic this week. It's called Hamilton's Hats. It's written by Martine O'Born and illustrated by Axel Scheffler. And I've been given permission by Macmillan Books to read you this story. Look at all those hats. Amazing. I've got a hat right here. Let's read the story. Here is Hamilton. Hamilton the pig was very fond of hats. He had big hats, small hats, tall hats, floppy hats, stripy hats, feathery hats, and suitable for each and every occasion sort of hats. In fact, he had so many hats that you would need more than all your fingers and toes to count them. When Hamilton the pig's mum saw Hamilton messing about in his hats, she worried. Mm, Hamilton, she would say, you're a very vain little pig and I don't know what is to become of you. You have many lessons to learn in life and you'll learn none of them from hats. But Hamilton didn't listen. He was too busy tipping and cocking and raising and straightening on doing all the things that you would do with hats. One day, Hamilton the pig was out and about when he bumped into a giraffe. Hamilton was wearing a tall, teetering, high-as-a-chimney sort of hat. My hat makes me almost as tall as you, he said to the giraffe. The giraffe snorted, and with one fell swoop, he snatched up the hat and flipped it up onto his head. Hmm, indeed, a very fine hat, he said, ignoring the hot cross piglet down below. I should like to keep this hat for myself. But if you're really determined to get your hat back, you must climb up my long, long neck to get it. Hamilton looked up at the giraffe's long, long legs and her long, long neck. It's not easy for little pigs to climb, but Hamilton did want his hat back. So he decided to do it. It was horrible. The giraffe kept wriggling her neck because she said Hamilton was really tickly. But Hamilton was determined, so at last he got his hat. Whee! He cried as he slid down the back of the giraffe's neck and bumped onto the ground. I am a very determined pig and I have my hat. The next day, Hamilton the pig was out and about when he came across a crocodile. Hamilton was wearing a fierce, pointy, snap your tail off kind of hat. My hat makes me almost as fierce as you, Mr. Crocodile. The crocodile yawned. <gasps> Oh, and with a quick slurpity slurp, he snuffled the hat deep inside his mouth. Hum! Mmm, indeed, a very gobblesome hat. I should like to eat it for my dinner, said the crocodile, ignoring the cross pink piglet. But if you're really brave enough to get your hat back, you must come inside my hungry, hungry jaws to get it back. Hmm. Hamilton looked at the crocodile's hungry, hungry jaws and his hungry, hungry smile. It's not easy for little pigs to jump into a crocodile's mouth. Ah! But Hamilton did want his hat back, so... He decided to do it. It was terrifying. The crocodile kept licking his lips num, 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 because he said Hamilton was so tasty. But Hamilton was brave and so at last 
he got his hat. Hurrah! He shouted as he leapt off the crocodile and ran off as fast as he could. I am a very determined and brave pig and I have my hat. The next day Hamilton the pig was out and about when he met a band of monkeys. <laughs> Hamilton was wearing a round bouncy let's play catch sort of hat. My hat makes me almost as playful as you, he said to the band of monkeys. The monkeys laughed and with a quick flick of the tail, one monkey swiped the hat and threw it to his friend. Mm, indeed, a very fun hat. We should play with it every day, cried the monkeys, ignoring that cross piggy in the middle. If you're patient, you can have it back when we're finished. Hamilton watched the monkeys throw his hat high into the sky. It's not easy for little pigs to be patient, but Hamilton did want that hat back. So he decided to wait. Poor Hamilton. Oh, it was boring. The monkeys played for hours. They said it was such fun teasing Hamilton. But Hamilton was patient and in the end he got his hat back. At last he sighed as he said goodbye to those monkeys and plodded off. I am a very determined, brave and patient pig and I have my hat. The next day it was cold. Hamilton the pig was out and about as usual when he spied a tiny mouse. Hamilton was wearing a soft, teeny weeny, let's cuddle up sort of hat. My hat makes me almost as small as you, he said to the mouse. The tiny mouse sniffed and looked up at the hat. A slow, miserable tear rolled down her cheek. What's the matter? asked Hamilton. I'm cold and I haven't got a house to live in. Your hat looks so cuddly and warm. It would be just the thing to curl up inside on a cold winter's night. You want to sleep in my hat? squealed Hamilton, horrified. Oh no, said the tiny mouse. I couldn't possibly ask you to be so kind as to give me your hat. Hamilton looked at the mouse as she limped unhappily away. It's not easy for little pigs to be generous and Hamilton didn't want to give away his hat but he decided to do it. It was nice. The mouse kept shaking his hand and saying thank you, thank you because Hamilton was very kind. Oh, said Hamilton, I am a very determined, brave, patient and kind pig but I have no hat. So happy, hungry and hapless, Hamilton the pig went home and set to work on a very special new kind of hat. Look at all those hats. Almost as many as me. <laughs> Bye everybody.